I was gonna start, but Phyllis is licking herself, so that's very noisy. Let's start from the beginning with this one. Let's start in 1998 or maybe 99. I'm not entirely sure, but I'm six or seven. And I'm watching TV and all of a sudden a sexy buff sailor comes on the screen followed by a beautiful corseted woman and right away obsessed. I don't remember any specifics beyond the sailor and the corseted woman, but I do know that it was a Jean-Paul Gaultier ad for um, the perfume Le Mal. And I have no idea what it smells like, but that is the first image of a sailor that comes into my life. Obviously, it wasn't the only thing that inspired or influenced my sailor art. Things like, you know, the movie Operation Petticoat, um, sailor tattoos have always been really interesting to me. If you don't know or don't remember, this is the type of Jean-Paul Gaultier ad I was talking about. I'm bringing all of this up because the piece I'm going to work on in this video, I believe is somewhat inspired by Jean-Paul Gaultier's sailor aesthetic. I'm not copying anything I've seen from him or I'm not using a reference photo or anything like that, but I really see something of Jean-Paul Gaultier in this. So that's the basic idea. To me, it has kind of that sexy Jean-Paul Gaultier vibe. What I want to do now is draw her and then paint her using gouache and we'll see from there. really good and it's exactly what I had in mind. I mean, doesn't she look like she's Botticelli's Venus walking in a Jean-Paul Gaultier fashion show? Like that's, that's the vision I'm getting. That wasn't my initial vision, but that's the vision now. And I love it. 